I just got finished watching this video called Common Sense, and the guy is wrong. Because common sense is only common when people are religious. Because common sense has another name to it, and it's called discernment. Discernment is only given to you as a Christian. Only as a Christian. And not the fake Christians like you know in America nowadays. That go to the mega churches and sit there and get nothing but happy, 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 joy, joy, joy feelings. But real Christians who understand what 666 means. Who understands the Bible. Who understands what Jesus did. Those people get a gift called discernment. Now, common sense used to be called common sense. It's not so common anymore because people are turning away from religion. And what's funny about that is that in the Bible it says in the end times people will start turning away from the Bible, just like you all are doing right now. You're all fulfilling the Bible. I mean, I can, I can barely even mention the word Bible to somebody without, them, without their face turning completely sour, like, ugh, I don't want to read that. Fine. But don't sit there and go, oh, it's so fake. It's so fake. Because when I ask you to find me out the false parts, the fake parts, you can't even do it. Because they don't exist. And you can probably throw some Old Testament bullshit at me and think you're going to get me with that, but you don't. See, that's the thing. That's the thing with atheists. They don't even care to find out the truth or not. They just want to spew how much they hate it. Because they are sinners. They do not want to be responsible for their deeds. They do not want to be held responsible at the end of their life. There is a punishment for your sins. Whether you believe it or not, it's still going to come at the end of your life. So stop being a sinner and start realizing that every time you're doing something bad, you are doing something bad. Turn it around, start doing good, because there is a, you are going to be held responsible for what you do. Most people go, Moses this, Abraham that, Jacob this, Isaac that. But they don't understand the stories. And that's fine. But when you come across somebody like me who's educated in the Bible, who understands everything who actually understands what the book of Revelations means and how it's going to end up. For example, just a tiny example, I could tell you that Iran will drop a nuclear bomb on Saudi Arabia. That's, go that's going to happen. Whether you believe it or not, that is what's going to happen. The Antichrist is going to come from Turkey. That's going to happen too. Whether you believe it or not, it's going to happen. As a matter of fact, whether you believe or not, as a matter of, let me even make it even better for you, if you don't believe, you're an idiot. Here's why you're an idiot. Because your governments, they believe. The elitist, they believe. Everybody that's high in power that controls your life, they believe. So if you don't believe, you're not with the program. And if you're not with the program, you're going to be in serious trouble. I could tell you a lot, but I'm not going to. Because this is my first video that really talks about the Bible, and I will be making more of them. Because all the anti-feminist stuff, that gets kind of old, because I've noticed with my views, if I talk about anything other than how bad women are, I get no views. But if I say, women are skanks, women are users, I get thousands of views. It's ridiculous, folks. You all can't be that hate-filled out there. Sure, you can be hateful for what happened to you. I understand that. You can be angry at women for what was going on. But if you are so blind that you cannot see that the government is using women as a human shield, then you have no, women, no right to complain about women either. Because then you're just laying the blame on women when it's really the government that's doing it all. Again, discernment, being able to see through the crap. Turn to God today, say you're sorry. That's all you have to do is to say you're sorry and say that you want him in your life and that's it. To say that, walk away. And let everything happen to you. I'm telling you, it's like, it's like a second phase in life. You're, you're all stuck at phase one. You can only become stage two and reach that higher goal in life when you turn to Christ. When you give yourself over to Christ. You don't have to be ashamed for it. You don't have to, be, you don't have to see yourself as weak for it. You don't even have to see yourself as you're not in control because you're still in control. But if you're not with Christ, you're automatically with Satan. Christ says that. In the Bible it says, if you're not with me, you're with him. There is no middle ground in between where you could pick between which side you want to be. You're either with him or you're not with him. Anybody who has serious questions about the Bible, who really wants answers, is not just trying to be a troll or a douchebag or a giant dickhead. If you want serious answers to the Bible questions that you have so you can move on and get yourself some peace with the Bible so that you can understand it, 
You can ask me any question and I'll answer the question. And I'll guarantee you that you'll like the answer. I'm not going to sit here and spoon feed you something that you want to hear, but I'll make it clear to you what is being said by that and you'll have more understanding of it. As I've always been here for men, I still am, this time from a religious point of view. Because I would hate to see you all go to hell and I think you all deserve to go to heaven instead. Why don't you guys give it a try? What are you so afraid of? I'm a big guy. I'm a huge guy. I'm six foot tall and six inches. I'm a big guy. I even turned to Christ. If I can do it, you all can do it. And my life has become a lot better since I have. I've lost my anger. Well, I still have some of it, but not a lot as I did. My pain is gone. But the biggest thing that is gone is my fear. He takes away all fear. You can rely on him. He's like that one thing that will never leave you in life. Guaranteed promise. So turn to him today.